Oh man, it's good, baby. It's good. What's good, YouTube? It's Ricky Rose coming at you with a brand new video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Mob Park trailer. It's already been released. I am gonna show you the Mob Park trailer, and then afterwards, I have a whole bunch of screenshots of things that you might have missed uh, when you was watching it. Now, it, it was kind of sped up, so it, it's kind of cat. It's kind of hard to catch on to things. Uh, you might miss some things. But I took screenshots, and afterwards, I'm going to show you everything. Right now, I'm going to show you the clip real quick of the trailer. Let me know what you think in the comment section afterwards or throughout the whole video. You know, feel free. But here's the, here's the whole trailer. Xbox One, get NBA 2K20. Now, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to just basically go over everything that I saw and every, every animation, every uh, thing that's going on in the pictures. And I'm going to just give you the quick breakdown to it. I'm not going to go too in depth just because it's just a trailer. We technically don't get to see everything in the game, just the basics of it. Now, the first things first, the Wall of Fame is back for all the past 99s. I'm assuming everybody's name is going to be up there from two, from all the way from 2K15. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure all of them are going to be in there. Second thing is Core Conqueror is back. Third thing, there's a new ramen place. It's called Ronin's Late Night Ramen. Uh, that might be the new skill shop. It might not be that little crackhead white lady that just gives you, like, candy or some shit. So, this might be the new skill thing. Uh, the skill boot shop that you can actually get plus five on everything at least that's what i think it is i'm not sure park after dark is also back cages is back the gatorade uh facility is also back um you can actually go in there and work out try to get that gym rat bag this one is something that i'm i'm fucking hyped for backpacks are now in the game uh, it has like a babe design. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a whole bunch of one that you can just cop But hopefully they're not overpriced, but they are in the game. That's actually a good thing uh, The next thing is gonna be duo bicycles are now a thing you can ride it with a friend around uh, I guess that's cool. It's not really I don't know how that's gonna work Like only one person needs to have it or both people in order to ride it I'm not sure the new game mode is like a racetrack. I'm not sure what's gonna be the name of it but I doubt that you can actually drive those things that's going around the park, uh, those race cars. Now, in reality, uh, for me, it's just going to be quite annoying if you can actually hear them. Because if you can hear them constantly, zoom, zoom, it's, it's going to get pretty annoying real quick. So, if you can actually mute the volume on it, it'll be a good thing. Now, this screenshot, obviously, mask are back. But in this screenshot, he's doing the orange justice. If we're taking that uh, uh, Fortnite approach, that shit got to go. Stop, stop copying them niggas. That shit ain't gonna work for me, Chief. The next one is gonna be skateboards. You can actually customize them now, you know, with actual designs, not just, you know, a, a plain old color. Tricycles are also a thing. Hopefully, they're faster than the damn bikes. You can actually, you know, drive them with speed and you can actually drive them in the park. Because last year, you would get this and you could only drive up literally in a circle. And it was kind of shit. There was actually no point to it. 13 Gold Rush is back. Um, hopefully they, they, uh, change it up and you can actually more than just like three teams can actually get it. It's not just the top five. If, um, well, top three actually, because it's three on three. 
But if it can be, you know, top 20 or top 25, that shit is dope, hopefully. Or top 30, to be honest, just to make it, you know, 10 teams capable of actually winning. Frisbee is in the game, and it might be a mini game just like uh, Dodgeball. And this is just a screenshot. Like, I don't... Like, what's, I don't know what's going to be the point of it. It looks like you're just throwing it like a little horseshoe game. But, yeah, it's a frisbee. Now, this is another big game mode. Uh, This might be like Core Conqueror. Now, I don't know how it's going to work because i kind of seen, it, like, in the trailer, that, uh, like, the little guy, he jumped hella high. So, I thought it was kind of like, going to be like cages. You could jump on the trampolines. But when you look at the court, there's no trampolines. So, well, unless in that part of the clip he was on the trampoline but you cannot see the court so i'm not sure uh this is just this just reminds me of nba jams or playgrounds you know with the insane high jumps and everything so hopefully it, it, it it's playable 2k officially taking over fortnite because they added the new tilted towers which is that cowboy thing but in the screenshot they are playing uh dodgeball and in the next screenshot they do have like a power up i'm assuming it's stamina or that might be a takeover badge who the hell knows you probably start going crazy and throwing just like 50 balls in a second or something in the next screenshot this is uh one of the animations for the low levels so i'm assuming like pro and it's kind of a basic animation you can see it in the trailer if you want to go back and look at it it's nothing too crazy now the other animation it, it does look better the next one is my rep my park rep is finally back so you can actually, you know, go to the park and wrap that up and get, you know, a whole bunch of new rewards and everything. I am just going to list a whole bunch of them because I do have the screenshots. Now, if you want, you can stop it and kind of guess on what it is. But I'm going to just write down what I think it is and let you know what uh, what I think. My court rims. Now, I feel like you should be able to get that in my career. I don't feel like tying it with, with my park is kind of forcing you to play my park but you you get the rewards for my park for my like it's just weird as hell to me you get different animations that's always been in the game hard screens uh you can only see a, a portion of that it might be a park badge i'm not sure what it is uh it does have the the shape of a badge so hopefully that's what it is you can finally get them again tier one player panels i believe this is going to be like the little name tag thing that you can actually customize it like the calling cards from call of duty you can actually make like your own little logos and symbols or whatever and i'm assuming that's what it is that's the only thing that like comes to mind when it when you look at that you unlock jerseys hopefully it's like custom jerseys if you you know make it to where it's a rep reward it feels more earning and and rewardful when you actually you know unlock that bike beach cruiser hopefully once again you can drive around the park actually in the park and it's not as slow and even if it is slow can you just make it faster than a normal person running because then it feels like there's no point in investing vc into it like it's just corny my core floors and once again that should be a my career thing it's not it should be it shouldn't be tied to my part emotes dribble moves uh my gym rap badge that's also a thing. I'm assuming you get it gold when you get to that stage or they just give you the badge. The next one is the low rider bike. Now for this one, obviously it's not going to be called the low rider bike. Well, I'm not sure, but that's most likely what it is. You can see kind of like the back seat of it where you're going to lean back on it. And the next one, I think it says no place like my court. And then if you actually go frame by frame, it's the like the first word under it. It says pent. I'm assuming that's going to be like a new my court that you can actually unlock like penthouse and it's going to look better than the one that they, you originally start with. You could eventually create your own shirt. That's a new thing. Not really because it was on 2K18, but they fumbled that bag. So yeah, hopefully they make it a lot better. You could actually customize it, you know, to your liking and really go in depth with the customization, you know, and people won't be uploading like dicks and shit and <laughs> have walk around the park where like negative stuff because that's i think that's why they kind of took it off because it was coming a big issue the next one is double vc and double then the screenshot gets cut off i'm assuming it's double rep because you're already such at a higher level like i just feel like that that's it, it's most likely that there's nothing else that you can possibly get that's double when it comes down to it just the vc and the rep uh you can dress up in the park and actually drop people off with suits so that's a new thing and the last one would be mascots again. Uh, just wanted to brief that up. Now the next screenshot is about the, the animation for the higher up levels. 
this is probably what it's gonna look and by far it looks kind of dope that electricity that pops up is fire I ain't gonna hold you the next screenshot is, is for the pro-am by the looks of it it's gonna be outside so that's kind of dope like you no longer constricted to actually playing inside and shit you can go outside but there's another reason like i feel like they did this if you can actually walk to the to pro-am court there might be a possibility that this is how they're gonna do private matchmaking if you can actually go there and they have like a big section like they do the cages and you can just play those games but i feel like it's gonna create lag but then again you could it, there's this possibility that you can actually play private matches in uh 2k20 new theme park and game mode with a treasure map i don't know how to explain that i don't know what it's looking like the next screenshot has to do with it, with it i think with the basketball gods it looks like you know ancient egypt and all that now the next four are kind of self-explanatory but i'm gonna just go over them anyway uh there, there was fireworks in it. I don't know if you can buy them and just set them off and, you know, make the server lag even more. Or this is only after, like, a big achievement that it goes off and you can actually look up. Or, you know, I don't, I don't know. Fireworks? It's cool, I guess. If you got to pay, like, 10,000 VC to pop one, yeah, that shit's not worth it. The next one is Ebola. I don't, like, what, why, why is there a whole bunch of chemicals in there? Niggas trying to nuke the park early. <laughs> they real life trying to get everybody up out of there. Oh, uh, the last two is themed parks. The Halloween. Uh, this is one thing that a lot of people has been saying from 2K15 to 18, and it never happened. So they was just like, ah, fuck it. But they eventually added it. You know, there's gonna be themed uh, things. Hopefully, they have like daily little challenges you can unlock, like exclusive things within that. That like not daily challenges, but like weekly challenges and monthly throughout the whole month. You know, like drop 500 points into my park. Uh, play a certain amount of games and you get exclusive clothing when you do like glow in the dark stuff That would be dope Same thing for Christmas uh, By far hopefully there's snow on the ground people slip that for me that shit would be hard If they did that for me, that's you know, what I'm saying you've reached your peak There is no higher y'all did that so far, everything else, that was by far all, all the screenshots that I got. I slowed down. I'm going to do another video and try to find things that I kind of missed and go over that as well. I love how I said that this video is going to be kind of short and it just goes on 10 minutes. So um, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you are most excited for for 2K20. Me, I'm just excited for the game to be out. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't, for me, I'm going to see everything when it comes out and I'm going to just be lit. That's it. But that is going to be the end of the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. You already know who the fuck it is, man. This is your boy Vicky Rose. And I'm out of here.